Hello! I will demonstrate the dynamic rescheduling in Gantt charts by simply clicking and dragging your operations or orders to a new date. To find the Gantt charts, simply navigate to the production planning section and under the production schedule, click on the Gantt chart button on the top right of the calendar. In MRP Easy, there are two types of Gantt charts. There is the chart which shows you the manufacturing orders, where you see the details on all orders and you can expect them to see individual operations. The other chart is the workstation's loading chart which shows each individual workstation and you can easily drag operations to optimize your schedule. Let's start from the manufacturing orders rescheduling. You can hide finished orders from the top right and you can choose your period on the top left from a list of predefined values or you can enter a custom period. If you click on the month, it will drill down to the month level. If you click on a day, then first it will drill down to a week view and if you click on a day again, it will drill down to a day view. If you wish to reschedule a manufacturing order, just click on it and drag it to a new date. The software will display a dialog asking you if it's okay, if there is a scheduling conflict or it should uh, find the first availability from the time that you dragged it to. If you confirm, the manufacturing order will be rescheduled. If you wish to reschedule individual operations, then expand the manufacturing order and track the operation to a new time. And again, the software will ask what you want to do with other operations. Do you want to move the other operations of the same manufacturing order together with this operation? Or do you want to move it alone? And also, if it is possible to schedule this operation according to the workstation loading. Now, if we move over to the workstations on charts, here we can just take an operation and drag it to a new date. And again, the software will ask us if we want to check resource availability and scheduling conflicts. For example, if the operation can start before the last operation is finished or not. And if we confirm, it's going to be rescheduled. It is also possible to move an operation from one workstation to another. To summarize, there are two types of con charts, the manufacturing orders con chart and the workstations con chart. Both charts allow click and drag rescheduling which takes into account the availability of resources.